What's going on, YouTube community? It's your boy YFD on Blog TV coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Man, there's some breaking news in the NFL. I don't know if you guys heard, but former, former Pro Bowl running back Ray Wrights has been cut, terminated by the Baltimore Ravens. Yes, everybody, you heard it right. He has been cut by the Baltimore Ravens for the simple fact that we all know what happened with, at that time, Ray Rice and his fiance. You know, it was an incident that occurred. Ray Rice ended up pretty much knocking his fiance out, and she was unconscious. He drug out the elevator, yada, 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 yada. Well, the NFL, they end up suspending him for two games. But just today, a video services from TMZ that is more footage shown where Ray Rice actually, you see where Ray Rice actually hit his fiance. And, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. You actually see where Ray Rice, you know, hit his fiance and then she hit, falls to the ground. He drags her out of the elevator a little bit and boom, there we go. Now, I just got to say this, and I know this may offend people, it might offend females, but, okay, from what I saw in that video, she hit him. She kept hitting him. I believe she hit him twice. Okay. Now, I don't know what was said. I don't know why she was hitting him. But it comes a point in time where when do, when do we stop using that excuse, oh, men can't hit females, such and such and such, because we're too strong, yada, yada, yada. Listen, man, I never hit a female before. I never been in a position to hit a female before. But I'm going to say it and I'm going to always say it. If you don't want to get hit by a man, do not put your hands on a man. Either way it goes, nobody deserves to get their hands, you know, nobody deserves to get hit in any situation, okay? But as a female, if you know the consequences, what can happen, why would you continue to hit a man or spit on him or do all this crazy stuff if you know that we are so strong and so powerful that we can hurt you and all this stuff. And that's not true in some cases. Some dudes are kind of weak. And some females can beat these dudes ass. But, you know, sometimes I just don't understand. Because a lot of times, I feel like, you know, I'm like I said before, no one should hit anyone, okay? Sex doesn't matter, okay? You know, I just feel like sometimes women, they use that just so they can get away with battery. You know, you call it spade for spade, you know, for, for goodness sake. Um, and, you know, from this video, you know, you see her hitting him. And then also, you know, I actually don't think the hit knocked her out. Because if you look, I don't think the hit knocked, knocked her out. What, what knocked her out was that rail. When her face hit that rail, that's what really knocked her out. Because we don't know how hard she hit that rail. You know, so that is what I think knocked her out. Now, yes, um, Ray Rice could have did a better job as far as trying to pick her up and stuff like that, covering her up because you see a little her, you know, butt cheeks and stuff like that. But I don't know if if they were drunk. We we don't know. I don't I don't know. But it's like in that situation for him, what is there for him to do? Like, what else can he do? Because now you got a person knocked out on the ground. The elevators want to open up. People are walk past. Now you fuck. It's nothing else you can really do. What can you say? You can either say, well, tell the truth, or you can say, well, she's drunk, she fell, boom, boom, boom. You can go that route. But, um, you know, long story short, no one should hit anyone in these situations. You know, if you feel like it's going to get to a situation as a female where this guy might hit you, or same way for if this female might hit you, just try to walk away as best as you can. But I know certain people, they want to take it up to that that next level to where they want to try to provoke you to do something. And the next thing you know, you're in jail, especially if you're the guy, you're in jail because this female, you know, want to keep talking or keep jabbing at you and stuff like that. Okay? Um, now, even... Now, you know, because we all know that they're married now. Even she said that, you know, she was wrong. She shouldn't have did what she did. You know, she done. But in this world today, as soon as a man put their hands on a female, it's the end of the world for them. But, you know, you have to, you have to, you know, in this, as far as this situation, you know, it's, it's, 
it's both people's problems. They shouldn't. Have, they both shouldn't have put themselves in that situation. And now it's a worse outcome for Ray Rice because right now he's cut. He's out of a job until you know. I guess another team want to pick him up because somebody will pick him up. Like, come on, man. Somebody will pick him up. No. I hate to say it, but it's so much more other shit going on in the world. A man hitting a female, it's it's not the end of the fucking world. And now, now I can see if he would have killed her or some shit like that. But, I mean, like I said, both parties was wrong. Ray Rice shouldn't have hit her. She shouldn't have been putting his, putting her hands on him, plain and simple. I'm not showing sympathy for certain females no more. Like, I just don't, like, come on, man. It just comes a time where we got to look past that. Like, we can't keep on saying, oh, we can't not act like the females don't cause a lot of these situations and why they get hit or hurt. Now, if he would have just uh, randomly attacked her for no odd reason, okay, that's different. That's that's very different. You know, me just arguing with my girl in a conversation and I just come out, boom, boom, boom. Okay, now that, that, that that's fucked up. That's different. Um, but like I always, uh, but like I always say, man, keep your hands to your goddamn self, whether you're a male or a female, then certain situations would not happen. Just let's be real. Because if because any female know that anybody can pop off. Same way if she was the head of female. Anybody can pop off. That's the same way if it was a guy. You know? Anybody can pop off. So just learn to keep your goddamn hands to yourself and things can be better. Um you know. Of course then people say, well, well, you know, he's bigger than her. And, 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 and all this stuff, okay, I understand that. I, I never said Ray Rice wasn't wrong. I understand that. But at the same time, if you know all this shit, then why provoke a person? That's all I'm saying. Nobody should put their hands on anybody at the end of the day. But this whole, oh, you can't hit a female and all this shit and blah, blah, blah. Well, why can't it, why can't people say a female can't hit a man? Why that can't never be the bigger, the bigger, bigger picture of things? A female can't hit a man. I was just looking at CNN. They making this dude look like a, sound like a damn monster because he fucking pimp slapped her. I don't even know if the slap was that hard. Like I said, the rail is what knocked her out. You can clearly see the rail is what knocked her out. You know? But it's just crazy, man. So, you know, I mean, kudos to the NFL for, you know, doing their part, you know, cutting them and everything. I mean, well, the, the, the NFL and the Baltimore Ravens for, for doing their part. Um, I didn't think it was going to get to that level, but you can't tell me that this dude is not going to be playing on somebody else's team before this season is over with. Like, come on, man. And this is his first offense. So I would think somebody is going to pick him up because he's still a hell of a running back. And, um, and as far as the NFL... Roger Goodell said he didn't see this footage. If it took TMZ to bring this footage to you guys, I think that's bullshit. I think they saw this footage. They was just trying to sweep it under the rug. They didn't want it to really get out there. So I think that they knew they saw this footage already, but they just didn't know that it was going to come out like that. And now it came out, so now it's going to make them look bad because people are going to be like, well, I know you guys probably seen this footage, especially these women. They're going to fucking go nuts. You know, but... um. I think Roger Goodell never saw this footage. There's no way in hell you can't tell me uh, they didn't see this footage. But, you know, like I said, man, it's a sucks. it sucks in the society. It sucks. I feel like sometimes the man the man cannot win for shit, and it's going to always be like that. It seems like a lot of times when it comes to uh, domestic charges, we, we never win. We never win. Yeah, I mean, we never win. People act like the woman never do any damn, the, the woman never do anything to, to make a motherfucker go crazy. And then when we do go crazy, oh, now we're locked up. Now we're the monsters. Now we're this. But this person is not the monster. She's not this. She's not that. She's not that. Oh, well, you're bigger than them. Whatever, man. Now, let's just say, for instance, that, that it was the other, it was, a, it, it, was, it was something different where she actually came at him with a knife or something. So what people want, people want to say, well, you, you so, so what people going to say then? You still couldn't hit her? Because if a motherfucking female come at me with a knife or a gun or whatever, okay, now I'm clocking your ass if I get the chance to. Because now I'm really defending myself because I'm not about to sit up there and get stabbed or shot. But anyway, man, this video too long, man. 
Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook. Check out my previous videos. Comment, subscribe, favorite, like, share. Tell me what you think about this situation. Do you think the Ravens should have just left it alone and, 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 you know, just kept them with the two-game suspension? Or, you know, did they do the right thing? Um, and do you think Ray Rice would be playing football this season again? Let me know, man. Deuces.